What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 2022 Topped Chrome Formula 1 Sapphire Edition. Three box break. Random teams number 11. Just sold out. And again, guys, F1. 10 spots, all card ship. There is the racing teams. Some of them have some combos. And we're giving away a free spot, guys. So if you bought a spot in here, you have a chance to win. So I'm going to click the dice or randomize the customer names. Number one gets a free spot. We'll paste in your name here. And then we will randomize the names and the racing clubs there. So good luck. Roll it. Four and four, eight the hard way. Number one gets a free spot, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom, eight, eight. Matt Johnson, congratulations. Ooh, those are those are good days, Mike. Fun days too. I miss those days. It was fun. All right, eight times now on the racing teams and the names. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight, eight. Stephen Kendrick down to David. Eight times here. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Mercedes at the top, down to Oracle. Red Bull at the bottom. All right, so Stephen Kendrick got Mercedes, Nathan with Haas, Max with Aston Martin, Simon with BWT Alpine, Max with Scuderi Ferrari, Boyd Williams Racing, Matt Johnson, Alfa Romero, as well as McLaren. Uh, Ryan, you have the all other cards, so that includes Scuderi, Alfa Tari, some F2 drivers that are actually considered F2 drivers here, but they've already been called up to like F1, so there's some good names in there. And then, of course, David got Oracle, Red Bull Racing, Red Bull Honda. So the combo is actually not bad. It's just that there's a lot of other like F2 racers and clubs or stuff like that that it's just easier to combo it. All right, guys. Well, I don't usually people don't really trade in this, so I'll just leave it up there for like 30 seconds. But I mean, for Scuderia Alfatari, you have Yuki. Yuki was a big rookie last year in 20, and, uh, 2020, uh, 2021, but Yuki's an Alfatari. Very popular. I think uh, Pierre Gasly, who was really good too, was on there. I don't know, he might still be under Scuderia uh, uh, Alfatari here. I'm not sure, but he, I think he moved to Alpine, so uh, he might not be in this no more, but. He was on there in previous years. I think he was there for like five or six years. The Yuki Sonoda is a big name. All right. Let's just close it then, man. Sorry, Sion. It doesn't seem like people are going to trade. So, yeah, guys. This took a little bit of time to fill up, so... Uh, we'll take it off the website. I'm sure we'll put it back up at some point again, maybe uh, as the the season goes along for F1 and it's a little bit more popular again. But we did a lot of these, so I figured it'd be slowing down just a little bit. All right. So here are the three boxes we had there. And here we go.
Also, I don't know if I've ever pulled a track card in this. Ryan, just give me more insights. I know you don't know, but those track cards actually sell really well. I've hit them a lot in Hobby, but I don't think I've ever hit one here in uh, Sapphire. But they must be in here if Nick put it as a F2 track cards in Scuderia of Atari. And I've been trying to get into it recently, Simon. I've seen like my first actual like F1 race from finished uh, from start to finish. I've seen Alonzo when they were in. Uh, I forgot what was what, what, what. I forgot where they were at, but he was uh, obviously uh, at the podium. But then they they took it back because he had a violation. <laughs> took photos and everything. I think it was the the race that Checo won. A couple weeks back. Oh, did they reinstate it? That was so sad. It's like, dude, you're going to do that now? <laughs> Alright, here we go. So Max, you're stopping. Nice Mick Schumacher for Haas. 299. So Alexander Alba on there. That's Williams. Checkle there, Lewis Hamilton insert. There's Pierre Gassi. Yeah, actually he still is Pierre uh, under uh, Scuderia Alvatari there. I think it was given to George Russell after, but it's kind of weird, right? He was at the podium and they told him sorry, you had a violation, which actually puts you behind George Russell. All right, nice first stop in there. There's Checkle there, and there's. Frederick Vesti for F2. That's going to you, Ryan. That is a 27 out of 50. It's actually a really young kid. It's only born in 2002. Dang. Liam Lawson. Nice Max for stopping there. And then, of course, Lewis Hamilton. Oh yeah, you know what? I actually, I I seen it. I seen the beginning of it when they all just just crashed and yeah, it was a big mess, wasn't it? Like really early in the in the race. Out of fifteen, Daniel Ricardo. Yeah, that one. I think it was in Australia, right? So it was like I think it was last Saturday night. It was like like at ten o'clock. So like right when I left here. Um, it happened. I think I was trying to listen to it while I was driving home. You know, I remember them talking about it. You know why? <laughs> I remember actually because when I went home, me and my wife actually got dinner because we skipped lunch that day. And uh, we went to, uh, I think, to Wingstop to get some wings. And they actually were playing it on Wingstop. And that's when I seen the whole crash and everything. Yeah, a ton of people literally just, just, yeah, they had to restart and everything. But, I mean, what are you going to do, right? I think Lewis Hamilton avoided like that crash too, just like by a little bit too. Oop, I'm stuck right there. But it's really fun though. I like it a lot. Like I said, I never really got into it. I'm not really a car guy or anything like that, so I never really like NASCAR either. But I mean, I would I'd rather watch like F1 than NASCAR, honestly. Charles Leclerc. I know, dude. It's so like money, yeah. I just never, I just never got that like. But I mean, I, I think there's more regulations now. But I just, I never liked or got that like. This is a nice one, purple. Stephen Ocon to ten. That's for Alpine. Uh, which is going to you, actually, son. I never liked that, like, if you had the most money, you had the best engine. Which means, like, it's so much more of an advantage to people. Like, yeah, having a driver for one is great, but... I mean, what ha what does that matter if they're, like... If uh, your engine is so much better than others? Or the money you put into it, you know? So, yeah, that doesn't really help, right? Nice Guan Yu, so... There's Lewis Hamilton again. 
Another Guan Yu. And Theo Porcher for F2. That's going to Ryan to 199. Yeah, so then, like you said, realistically, there's only X amount of uh, racing teams actually competing. Because there's no competition for others. Esteva. Nice green to 75. Nice Fernando Alonso. And then Enzo for F2. Out of 199. It was Hamilton and Jack DeHoon. F1 is nice though, man. They they create some amazing tracks. It's it's like a rich, rich thing to watch, you know? Like imagine like we were just talking about that with Joe yesterday, how they're talking about like Las Vegas Boulevard is kinda closed down while they're like putting new uh, new uh, cement or asphalt, whatever they're using for the race. Um for the upcoming race and like have you guys seen those ticket prices? I mean, it's ridiculous, dude. Like you have to be rich, and I'm talking rich, to go to these events. And that's why, obviously, they're in all over the world. You know, and it's crazy, man. Well, I was recommended by a lot of my F1 customers to watch that, like, F or that uh, F1, like, series on Netflix. That, uh, that everybody says it's, like, on season three or four now. <clears throat> I did watch the tennis version though. I watched a couple episodes. It was really good, actually. The movie uh, F one movie Rush was great. What was it like? A, it's an actual like movie about F one or just like in, about like a like a driver in F one. It's fun though. I like it. I mean, I it, I've already kind of like became a little bit of fan. I, I mean, I wrote I wrote for Red Bull because of Checo, you know. So. If I had to like claim one, it's it's Red Bull for him. Pierre Gasly. Plus, he's from like he's from Guadalajara, where like my wife's family's from. Uh, one four uh, thirty four of uh, one ninety nine. He's like from Jalisco. That's Pierre Gasly, and actually, that's a really nice one there, uh, Ryan. Scudero. Ollie Caldwell. Thanks for stopping. Claire. There's Liam Lawson, F2. 299. You're going to actually get a lot of hits, Ryan, even though you don't know them. <laughs> nice Lewis Hamilton insert right there. I love the color. Alrighty, guys. Well, there you go, guys. That was uh, F1 number 11, three box break. A lot of nice colors and inserts popping out of here. We did get a really low number one, Daniel Ricciardo, I think, in the first or second box out of 15, which is really nice. And then that purple. Uh, where's the purple at? It must be somewhere right here. Did I put it in this thing? Stephen O'Connell was the lowest out of 10. So appreciate it, guys. Uh, this was F1 number 11, jazbeescasebreaks.com.